This video will provide instructions for creating an ODBC connection to the General Store data files for use with custom reports and dashboards, custom data queries, and for use with wireless data collection devices like the Unitech HT682 and the Honeywell Dolphin 6500. Now we must warn you, this ODBC connection is for export purposes only. Never try to update or edit any General Store data file or record using third-party software as we cannot be held responsible for any damage to existing data files that may result. There are two different methods for adding the General Store database. Method 1 involves single user systems and network servers, and Method 2 involves workstations. Let's begin by taking a look at Method 1, single user systems and network servers. And remember, in a network environment you must always create the server database connection first. Now let's begin. First, click Start, All Programs, Pervasive, and Pervasive Control Center. Once the Control Center is up, first double click the computer name, then right click Databases, left click New, and select Database. Now we are ready to create the General Store Database. We will first enter the database name, and then the General Store Database location. In this example, we are setting the database up on the server, so we will enter c colon backslash genstore backslash TGS data as the database location. Next, we will deselect the Create Dictionary option and click Finish. Our database is now complete. To ensure proper setup, we can click the General Store and then Tables, which will display all of the General Store database tables. We can now create custom reports and database queries using third-party tools like Crystal Reports and Microsoft Access, and we can even collect data on the sales floor using wireless handheld devices like the Unitech HT682. To connect a workstation to this database, we must first know the server's IP address. In this example, we'll use 10.0.0.12. So let's begin. First click Start, All Programs, Pervasive, and PSQL Control Center. When the Control Center opens, first click Tools, and then select 32-bit ODBC Administrator, even if you are operating on a 64-bit Windows system. Next, select the System DSN tab from the ODBC Data Source Administrator window. Then click the Add button, select Pervasive ODBC Client Interface, and click Finish. Now we can enter the data connection properties. First, we'll start with the data source name. Next, we'll enter the server IP address. Now we can click the Get List button to show all databases that exist on that server. And now you can see the general store database on that server that we created in the beginning of this demonstration. Once the database is selected, it's always a good idea to test the connection. Here you can see that the connection was successful, so we're good to go. And that's it. We have now successfully created an ODBC connection to the General Store data files on both the server and the workstation. 